for joining me on my crochet channel uh, in this tutorial I will show you how to crochet the wind rose doily and uh, I would say it's uh, an easy project and the doily has 24 rounds uh, and I made two uh, different sizes with uh, different crochet threads so uh, let's look at these first so for this uh, pink one, I used crochet thread size 10. So this is the DMC crochet cotton thread. Um, I had a full ball when I started. It has 50 grams in it. So as you see, it was more than enough for the doily. So yeah, it's size uh, 10. Crochet hook size 1.5 millimeters. And this one is quite big. It measures 15 inches in diameter. And this blue one is interesting because I used uh, a different type of thread that I usually use for doilies. So I found um, Lisbeth, um, they have this line of metallic threads. It's called Liz Metallic. This color is called Steel Blue. It's uh, size 20. Here's, I have another ball. This is, uh, it's uh, sand dollar. And um, so they both are shiny. And uh, so that's the name for but the thread um, is not cotton and it's um, definitely not as soft as the usual cotton thread so I'm not sure if it's best for the doily but I wanted to experiment because I really like the color and the and the shiny look of it uh, so this one measures about 13 and a half inches in diameter and that's the funny thing so even though the size is 20 and my other doily is made with thread size 10 the difference in diameter is only one and a half inches so this metallic uh, thread uh, will result in a in a bigger item definitely bigger than if you use the regular size 20 thread and I have to say, when I uh, blocked this one, uh, it didn't go into the shape as nicely as the doilies usually do. So this is an option. I just wanted to introduce this uh, novelty uh, thread to you in case you were curious and wanted to uh, try it as well. And um, very important fact, the designer of this doily is Fujiko Takagi. And let's get started. And we start with magic ring. Here's my thread tail. So I put it here across my fingers and make a cross around your index finger like this. Then insert your hook underneath that first strand and pull that second one through from under. Pull up the loop, take the finger out and make a stitch. And now you can pull it a little bit smaller, that ring. And now we need to first uh, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And this counts as uh, first double crochet and two chains. Then double crochet in the ring and chain two. Double crochet in the ring chain two and now repeat 
So make a total of 8 double crochets, 2 chains between each, 4 is made. I have uh, 8 double crochets, uh, the last 2 chains, and now I'm going to pull the ring tight using that tail. And I'll finish the first round with a slip stitch in the beginning third chain. Uh, for the second round, first slip stitch into that next chain space. Chain one and single crochet in the same space. Now chain three and single crochet in the next chain space. Chain three, single crochet in next chain space and repeat. And last three chains, finish with a slip st stitch into the beginning single crochet. To start round three, slip stitch into the next chain space. Chain 3, that counts as first double crochet, and now we're going to do uh, 3 double crochet clusters. So the beginning one is uh, with uh, 3 chains, and we need 2 more double crochet. So I start the double crochet, but don't finish. Leave last 2 loops on hook, start next, pull through first 2 loops, and now you have 3 loops on hook, and pull through three loops. Uh, next we need to do a pico. First we chain four, two, three, four, and now slip stitch into that second. So it's the third chain from the hook and chain one more. And now three double crochet cluster in that same chain space here. So start the first double crochet, don't finish, start the second double crochet, don't finish, start the third, and now for this one you have four loops and hook and pull through all of them. And so we need two clusters in each space, and then chain five, two, three, four, five. In the next space, again, three double crochet cluster. One, two, three. Then pico, chain four. One, two, three, four. Slip stitch in third chain from hook. Chain one more. Three double crochet cluster in same chain space. One, two, Three and chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and repeat. To finish uh, round three, instead of the last uh, five chains, uh, we will chain two and then um, make a double crochet, inserting hook on top of that first cluster so that we end up in the middle of this part here. To start the round four, uh, chain three, that counts as first double crochet and double crochet right next to it in that same space. Next, chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Now reach over to the next five chain space, skipping all this. So in here, make two double crochets, one and two. And then chain three, one, two, three, and make two more double crochets in the same space. One, two. And then next again, chain five, two, three, four, five. Skip this part, reach over to the next five chain space and repeat. 
two double crochets one two three chains two double crochets in the same space and chain five and repeat this and now to end round four i did my last five chains and now into this beginning space here i have to do two more double crochets like in all the others but instead of the three chains here we're going to do one chain and half double crochet on in the third beginning chain so again we will end up in the middle of the space and that's how all the rounds end and now uh, round five starts with three chains and two double crochets in the same space one, two. next chain three two three single crochet in that five chain space chain three single crochet in the same space next to the previous one chain three and in the next three chain space now first make three uh, double crochets one two three then three chains one two three and three more double crochets in the same space and now it repeats three chains single crochet three chains single crochet three chains and then double crochets three chains double crochets and to end round five again we need to do three double crochets in that beginning space two three and instead of three chains we'll do the same as uh, on previous round chain one and half double crochet in the beginning third chain and now starting round six chain three and now double crochet three in the space one two and three then chain four one two three four and skip this reach over to the next three chain space here between double crochets and make first four double crochets in here two three four then chain four one two three four and make four more double crochets in the same space one two three four and then repeat chain four and make double crochets crochets in the next three chain space right here and we'll do the end of the round together again and finishing round six i did my four double crochets here in the beginning space and instead of uh, last four chains we're going to do one chain and now double crochet in the beginning third chain and round seven starts with four chains two three four and this counts as first double crochet and one chain and now 
double crochet in that same space next chain two and now double crochet in the next three double crochets so first one is here one two and three and we're going to skip the fourth one then chain two and single crochet in that four chain space and chain two next skip that first double crochet and make three double crochets one two and three uh, next chain two and then it's like a V stitch in the in the space. Make a double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet. And now repeat two chains. Three double crochets, skipping the last one, two chains, single crochet in the next chain space, two chains, and again this part. And now the next couple of rounds are going to end uh, differently. So to end uh, round seven, I did uh, last double crochets and now chain two and here's my V stitch I'm just going to slip stitch in the uh, beginning third chain and round eight chain three counts as double crochet and double crochet in the same space chain three two three and now make two double crochets in that next double crochet so one and two next chain three one two three and now next we need to do first two double crochets together so we start the first one but don't finish Start the second and now when you have three loops on hook pull through all of them so two double crochets together and then the next one just uh, one double crochet and then chain one and in the next double crochet make one and then again two together start the first one pull through first two loops start the second pull through first two loops now have three on hook pull through all of them and now um chain three one two three and then we need to do two double crochets in the next one and two chain three and two double crochets here in the next one and two and now repeat so chain three and in here again two double crochets together and one double crochet then chain one one double crochet here and two together here And ending round eight to the last uh, three chains and slip stitch in the beginning third chain and round nine chain three that counts as uh, double crochet double crochet in the same space 
and now double crochet two in the next double crochet so we need four here then chain two and now double crochet in that three chain space again chain two and now four double crochets so two in each one and two three and four and next chain five one two three four five and now we need to do four double crochets together into these stitches so start the first one insert hook into this first stitch pull through first two loops keep last two loops on hook start the second one in this one we skip the chain start the third one in here and start the fourth one in here and we have now five loops on hook pull through all of them so this is four double crochets together and chain five two three four five and then it repeats make four double crochets here two in each then we do two chains double crochet two chains and again four double crochets and then five chains Four double crochets together five chains and so if it curls a little bit here like mine not to worry we need to block the doily when it's finished ending round nine I did the last five chains slip stitch in the beginning third chain and round ten starts with three chains that counts as the first double crochet then double crochet in the same space and now double crochet one in each next three so we have total five double crochets here four and five next chain two and now double crochet two in this next stitch one and two chain two now double crochet one in each next three so one two three and in the last one make two double crochets one and two Uh, next chain five one two three four five and now double crochet on top of this cluster here one double crochet here and chain five two three four five and now repeat double crochet twice in the first one and one in each next three then we do two chains two double crochets two chains and again five double crochets and then this part and ending round 10 five chains slip stitch in the beginning third chain round 11 starts with three chains now double crochet in that same space then double crochet one in the next and now double crochet two together so start the first one start the second one and then pull through three loops on hook next chain three two three double crochet in the next double crochet and now chain four one two three four 
double crochet in the next and chain three again one two three and now so we need to do um, first two double crochets together so one two two together then double crochet one in the next and again two together first and second and two together now chain five one two three four five double crochet in a five chain space here chain five two three four five double crochet in that next chain space here and chain five more two three four five and so here again we do the same as here so first two double crochets together then one in the next and again two together one and two and now it repeats three chains one double crochet four chains one double crochet three chains and again this part and then five chains double crochet five chains double crochet five chains and finished round 11 with a slip stitch on top of that first double crochet cluster and round 12 starts with three chains and now we need to do two double crochets together so insert hook into the next one and also into that next one here and two together and uh, then chain five one two three four five and now in that this four chain space we need to do three double crochets together so start the first one start the second and start the third and now four loops and hook pull through all of them and then chain five two three four five and now we need to do the same again in that same space of so three double crochets together start first second and third and again chain five one two three four five and here we also do three double crochets together so insert hook in the first don't finish in the next don't finish and in that next three and now pull through four loops on hook and then chain five two three four five double crochet in the next five chain space chain five two three four five double crochet in that next space chain five two three four five double crochet in the next five more one two three four five and now three double crochets together one and two 
three. And now repeat again five chains and then in this four chain space we do this three double crochets together five chains three double crochets together five chains three double crochets together and from now on until uh, round 23 the rounds end again differently so instead of the last five chains we chain five uh, sorry two and double crochet on top of that last of that beginning three double crochet cluster so to be in the middle of this space and now round 13 starts with eight chains and it counts as double crochet and five chains three four five six seven eight and then double crochet in that next chain space chain five one two three four five and now in here in this five chain space we're gonna do these uh, three double crochets again three of them so first one one, two, three, then chain five, one, two, three, four, five, then the next one in the same space, one, two, three, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and one more, same space. One, two, and three. And now chain five, two, three, four, five, double crochet here in this next chain space. And now um, repeat, make a five chains and double crochet in here, five chains, double crochet in here, so forth. All these spaces until again you are here between these three double crochet clusters so in here repeat this part and finishing round 13 with two chains and double crochet into the third chain And uh, next five rounds are going to be exactly the same and um, easy ones. So uh, we start with eight chains, two, three, that counts as uh, double crochet, and then five chains, two, three, four, five. And now just double crochet in each space around and chain five between three four five and in the next so all of these spaces to the same and end the round as we just did two chains and double crochet in the beginning third beginning chain so five rounds 14 15 16 17 18 to this exactly the same I finished round 18 here with two chains and double crochet in the beginning third chain and now round 19 is a little different we start the same chain eight two three four five six seven eight and now double crochet make five of these double crochets so one chain five three four five and then two chain five one two 
So you'll see it's going to be above this one, exactly above this one here, this motif in this space. Uh, three double crochets together. One, two, three, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And again, three double crochets together in the same space. One, two, and three. And now continue with one, two, three, four, five, five chains and one double crochet in the next. And now count, make eight of these double crochets. So I did after these clusters, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight double crochets, five chains between each. And now in this space again, you'll see it's right above this part. In this space again, we're gonna do those two clusters. So one, two, three. Chain five, three, four, five, and the second one, two, and three. And now keep repeating this chain five, eight single crochet, uh, double crochets, and then the three double crochet cluster part. And I finished round 19 here. So after these last clusters, I did two more double crochets, then uh, chain two and double crochet in the third beginning chain. And now round 20, it starts the same. Chain eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then um, keep doing the double crochets in each space, chain five between until you get to um, this space. And in this space now we have to do three of these clusters. So basically it's the same as on round 13 here, except we have more of these double crochets between. So we'll do the first one, two, three, chain five, then second in the same space, chain five, and then third one also in here. And then continue five chains double crochets in each space until you get to this next one in here and you'll do the same as just now here and repeat finished uh, round 20 same way two chains and double crochet in the beginning third chain and next Three rounds are going to be like the ones we did here, starting at the 14. So, but now instead of five rounds, we're going to repeat three rounds and only doing those uh, double crochets and five chains. And starts the same chain eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and double crochet in the next. Chain five, 
and double crochet in the next and then we do we double crochet in each of these spaces so do this now for the next three rounds and then we have one more round to do the edge I finished rounds 21, 22, 23 and now we have uh, round 24, the last one, the edge and that one starts with three chains and then we do the um, double uh, crochet cluster, three double crochets together so we need to do two two more here for the beginning one one and two now pull through three loops next um, chain four two four and single crochet in the next chain space again chain four two three four and in the next chain space first to the first double crochet cluster with three so that's the first one just as we did before second and third and pull through four loops on hook now we're gonna do the pico three chain pico so chain one and then three more for the pico one two three and slip stitch in third chain from hook and now chain one more and to the second cluster in that same space one two and three four loops and now it just repeats chain four three four single crochet in the next space chain four and to the clusters one two three pico one two three four chain one more second cluster And then again, cha four chains, single crochet, four chains, and clusters in here in the next one. And repeat this all around. And to finish the last round, I did uh, four chains, and now I need to do the three double crochet cluster in that beginning space because we started just with the with this one. We need the second one in here too. And also the pico, two, three, four. And then last chain and slip stitch on top of the first cluster. And we're done. I'm going to cut off the thread, fasten off. And here's how it looks for me uh, when I'm finished with all the rounds. So next I'm going to uh, block it. I'm going to make it wet, uh, stretch it out on my blocking mats, pin it, and um, I like to spray some starch on it to make it firmer shape. And I'm going to add some uh, photos next to show you how I block my doily. And here is my finished doily after the blocking. So I hope you uh, like this uh, tutorial to make your own wind rose uh, doily. Let me know if you have any questions 
Uh, thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting.